Hello and welcome to Mr. Walton's physics lessons. In today's lesson we'll be looking at changes of state from the particle model of matter topic of GCSE combined science and GCSE physics. By the end of the lesson you should be able to name the processes for the different changes of state and describe them using the particle model. You should remember that the three states of matter you need to know for GCSE are solid, liquid and gas. Solid, for example, ice. Liquid, e.g., water. And gas, like steam or water vapor. The particles in each of these states are the same, in this case, water molecules. The only difference is the way they are arranged and the amount of energy they have. When a material gains or loses energy, it can change its state. When ice is heated it can melt and turn into water. More generally, melting is the term given to a solid turning into a liquid. The temperature that this happens at is called its melting point. As a solid melts its temperature will stay constant until it's completely melted. The particles in the solid gain energy and this causes their vibrations to increase. The bonds between the particles will weaken and they will be able to move past each other. Their arrangement goes from regular rows and columns in the solid to a random arrangement in the liquid. When a liquid is heated further it can turn into a gas. For example when water is heated in a kettle it can turn into steam. When a liquid turns into a gas we call this boiling. The temperature at which this happens is called the boiling point. When a liquid boils, the particles gain energy and move around faster. This additional kinetic energy will break the bonds between the particles and they will escape the liquid and spread out to become a gas. Liquids can also turn into gases by the process of evaporation. You may have seen mist above a lake first thing in the morning. This is the water evaporating as it warms up. Also a cup of coffee continues to evaporate as it cools down. Some of the particles in the liquid will have enough kinetic energy to escape the bonds of the liquid. When gases lose energy, they cool down and can turn back into liquids. This is called condensing, or condensation. You will have seen condensation on your windows on a cold day. The water vapor in the air cools when it touches the cold window and loses energy. This turns it back into liquid water. As the particles in the gas lose energy, they slow down, get closer to each other and they start bonding back together into a liquid. As a liquid cools further it can freeze back into a solid. If you put water into a freezer it solidifies and becomes ice. The freezer takes energy away from the water and the particles slow down, which allows the bonds between them to reform, and they move back into a regular arrangement. In some circumstances a solid can turn straight into a gas without becoming a liquid first. This is known as sublimation. In summary, melting occurs when a solid is heated and turns into a liquid. A liquid turning into a gas can happen through either boiling or evaporation. As a gas is cooled back down, it condenses back into a liquid. A liquid freezes to become a solid. And finally, the process of a solid turning directly into a gas is called sublimation. If you found this lesson useful please give it a like and consider subscribing to see future lessons. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next lesson.